Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. Now, rewriting this as x square into p. So, by comparison, we know capital P is x square. In the same way, the second term is y square into q equal to z. So now capital P is x square, capital Q is y square and capital R is z. To get the solution we have to solve dx by capital P equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. Now replacing P, Q and R we get dx by x square equal to dy by y square equal to dz by z. Now by taking first two pairs and we are going to integrate. So this is already in the variable separable form where we have x terms on one side and y terms on the other side. So we go for integrating this here. When I take this to the numerator it is x power minus 2 dx and here it is y power minus 2 dy. And using x power n formula, it is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. And on the other side, y power mi minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1. And we have a constant c1. Now, this is x power minus 1 by minus 1. This is y power minus 1 by minus 1 plus c1. And this is again minus 1 by x. When we take this term to the denominator, it power positive and we have a minus sign. In the same way, it is minus 1 by y plus c1. And we take this here. So, minus 1 by x plus 1 by y equal to c1. Now, changing the sign throughout, we get 1 by x minus 1 by y equal to minus c1. So, this is our u. So, 1 by x minus 1 by y equal to u. In the same way, let's take the another pair that is this second and third. Or even we can take first and second also. So, I take second and third. So, integral dy by y square equal to integral dz by z. Here it is y power minus 2 dy and and on the other side we have integral dz by z. So here we are going to use the formula integral x power n dx. Here we are going to use the formula d integral dx by x. So this is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 and here it is log x. So for the first term we have in terms of y. So it is y power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 and on the other side it is log z plus c2. Now this is y power minus 1 by minus 1 equal to log z plus c2. This is minus 1 by y equal to log z plus c2 and by taking this term here we get minus 1 by y minus log z equal to c2 and we can change the sign throughout 1 by y plus log z equal to minus c2. This is our v which is 1 by y plus log z. Now using this u and v we are going to write the general solution. So the general solution is f of u comma v equal to 0. So f of 1 by x minus 1 by y comma 1 by y plus log z equal to 0. In case if I would have taken instead of second and third, if I would have taken first and third, then the y term we will be having x but still all the solutions are equally valid and correct. So we have taken second term and the last term so we get this solution. So we got the general solution for the given partial differential equation.